we are going to build a chess bot with just 150 lines of code which will play against you. So let's first decide architecture. We need a lightweight backend, and for that I've decided to go with Flask, a Python backend framework. Do you know Armin Ronasher, who created Flask as an April Fool's joke for his friend? And here we are, not able to make both friends and Flask. Moving on to chess, let's create two files, index.html and script.js, which will handle the front-end part of the chess game. So let's start with the front-end. Open the HTML file and create one div for the chessboard with an ID and class name board. Then the second div is for controls and information, which contains status, a restart button, and chess play evaluation. Follow this naming pattern so that we can connect these elements with our script file. Currently, the chessboard and chess pieces are not visible. To make them visible, we have to add two scripts and link one CSS file. Uh, these files will help in the style and logic of the chessboard. Let's add this to the head tag. Along with this, we will also import jQuery. Still, it's not visible because we have not initialized the board. To do that, we have to edit the scripts file. First, we will create a board. This chessboard function comes from the script we added to our HTML file. It will take two things, the ID of the div where we want to display our chessboard and a configuration for that board. This configuration contains permissions and functions like whether pieces are allowed to drag or functions like what to do on drag start, drop, and end. Also, we have to provide images for pieces. Here's a link you can use. Now, let's create drag functions for movement. First is on drag start, which accepts four arguments, source, piece, position, and orientation. This function is called when the user makes a move. Currently, we only want to ensure that the user can move only white pieces so the bot can move black pieces. I have added an if statement in which if the game is over or the piece is black, it returns false. When this function returns false, you cannot move any pieces. Now let's define a game variable, which will be used to handle game components like game over, move, or update. This chess function comes from this import. Let's declare the board variable at the beginning so that if chess is not loaded, it does not throw an error. Before we create a movement function, let's set up the back end. First, we will import flask, cross origin resource sharing, chess, and chess.engine. This chess is a Python library, and you have to install it using pip install chess. I recommend creating a virtual environment so you do not mess up your global Python packages. To create a virtual environment, use this command, and then to activate it, use this. Now install the chess library. Create a Flask app and add cross-origin resource sharing so that it can allow requests from our front end. The next step is very important because this is our chessbot's mind or engine. In this, we are going to use a stockfish engine. This engine has almost all possible moves and positions stored in it. Therefore, it will take the board position and provide the next best possible move. To download this engine, go to its official website and choose the engine according to your CPU. Then extract the folder and provide a path of the stockfish exe file. Now let's connect the board and this engine. This universal chess interface helps in communicating with chess engines. Now let's create a move route which will accept the move and play the next move according to that. First we will get the move from the request and submit it on board, then submit the board to the engine. You see this think time argument, it is the time the engine can take to think for the next move. What the engine does is think for all the possible moves and act accordingly. This second argument, depth, is the number of moves the engine looks ahead when analyzing a position. Then we get the next move from this and add move to the board. Then we will analyze the current board position and give an evaluation score. An evaluation score is a value assigned by a chess engine to a board position, indicating which side has an advantage. With a positive score meaning white has the advantage, a negative score meaning black has the advantage. We will send the best move, evaluation, and Forsyth Edwards notation, which is a standardized way to describe a specific chessboard position. 
Also, we will send the game over, stalemate, and checkmate. This is a route for resetting the game. Um, we will run the server locally and will listen to the server on port 5000. Moving to a JavaScript file, we will use the make move function, which will uh, receive the move from the user and send it to the server. And once the server responds, this function will change the moves on the game board and then show the updated move. Also, this function will check for checkmate or settlement of game over, but this function will be called once the player drops the pieces. To listen to that event, we will create a drop function, which will take the source and target as arguments, and then check if the move is legal or not. This Q stands for queen, and I have not added an option to select which pieces the user wants to promote when the pawn reaches the last rank, so I've added a default value of queen. Now, if a move is found to be illegal, then reverse the move and do not accept the move. But if the move is legal, then send it to the make move function which we have created. Um, when the make move function runs successfully, then on snap end function will be called, which will change the piece move by the back end. Now we have everything to play the game. So let's start with the back end server. Now that the server is running, open the HTML file on your browser. Wait, I forgot to add an event listener on the restart button. This will restart the game from both the front end and back end. Adding game reset, board reset, and server request for resetting the board on the server side. You can also add functionality like which pieces are not on the board, player score, or other features you'd like to add. Moving to the browser. This engine is running smoothly, so now host this server and challenge your friend. Thank you for your time.